Once upon a time, while playing Majora's Mask on my gameplay channel, I said this. Maybe I should do a list of one of my, my favorite masks sometime. Maybe that would be a fun video to do. Maybe I will do that. So naturally, it's nine months later and I still haven't done it. So I'm doing it now. I'm using three different things to determine which mask is the best. One, what does it look like? Because I'm a little bit shallow. Two, what does it do? AKA, what's in it for me? And number three, is the quest to get the mask fun or interesting at all? And I don't have anything clever to say about this one. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. No Deku mask, no Goron mask, no Zora mask, and definitely no Fierce Deities mask, because obvious and OP. Up first, I have the Don Garros mask. The actual mask itself isn't really that great. I mean, it's not even a mask, it's more like a cap. And it freaking covers your eyes. How am I supposed to save Termina from utter moon destruction when I have some freaking frog sitting on my head and blinding me? But the quest to get it is pretty fun. But again, when you do get it, its only purpose is to get a piece of heart. But again, again, actually completing the quest to get that piece of heart is quite an ordeal. You have to gather up four missing frogs, two of which have actually been turned into mini bosses for some unexplained reason. Okay, I finally got everybody. Now let's get that heart piece. Uh, I guess I already did it. Oops. The Bremen Mask doesn't do anything too special. It's not too hard to get, and the quest to acquire it, if you can even call it a quest, isn't really interesting. Basically, to get it, all you have to do is listen to the crazy windmill guy from Ocarina of Time ramble on for a while about how terrible of a person he is until eventually he hands it over. But you have to admit, it does play some pretty catchy music. I can't think of that much to say about the Bremen Mask, so this is a cop-out. Segment where I sing some stuff that kind of rhymes. I have done it many times. And I dropped something. The Mask of Truth. First off, getting the Mask of Truth is really fun. It actually has its own little mini dungeon located in Woodfall. But that's not very interesting to talk about. So let's talk about what you can actually do with it. Just like in Ocarina of Time, it allows you to talk to Gossip Stones, but in Majora's Mask, it also allows you to talk to animals, like the dogs in the dog race. You can basically cheat by doing this, and if I love anything as much as I love Zelda, it's cheating. You're supposed to look for the high energy dogs, you know, the ones with confidence. But I sympathize more with the lazy dogs, like this guy. You may be the underdog, but I believe in you. Now get out there and... Whoa. Yep, this is my guy. I think he's got magic powers. You can do it, lazy dog! You may not be motivated, and you may not be talented, but you're relatable to the common people, and that's what really matters! Oh, come on! Well, at least I didn't pick that guy. I love the Romani mask. Besides just looking super pimp. What's up, homies? It lets you into the bar. The milk bar. But that milk is some pretty powerful stuff, so I don't know, maybe there's some alcohol mixed in there too. But the biggest reason I love the Romani mask is the quest to get it. It's by far one of my most memorable gaming moments, and it's my favorite thing to revisit in Majora's Mask. I've already talked about it before, so I'll just sum it up really quickly. Basically, there are ghost aliens coming to steal the cows from the ranch. You help Romani fend off the ghost aliens, and then later you can ride with her older sister Crimea to Clocktown. Then you have to fend off the Gorman brothers from stealing the milk delivery, and once you do, you get the Romani mask from Crimea. But if you do the quest after you already have the mask, then you get something even better. All right. Booby hug. Love. Love between a beautiful young woman and a man who has been turned into a child, so he wears a Pikachu mask and runs around. And you can use this little racist dog in Clocktown to knock him over. Ha ha, you've been changed from your original form and are now ashamed to face your lover. How very unfortunate for you. <coughs> The couple's mask is by far the longest side quest in the game. You actually have to get a handful of other masks in the process of getting it. And that alone is a large part of the reason I'm including it this high in the list. It doesn't really do much, but it's a nice symbol of all the effort and time you put into getting it. It also is a symbol of love. Undying love. That is until the moon crashes and ends their love in the form of dying. The couple's mask. It's filled with their love. Gross. 
There's an event that happens on midnight of the first day in North Clocktown. An old lady is in trouble and you have to help her. Because saving old ladies and stopping thieves isn't in this guy's job description. Nope, keeping the kids out when the moon is crashing, that's more important. And what do you get for saving the old lady? Just what every kid needs, a bomb. More specifically, the blast mask. She even gives you some advice on how you can use it. Your very own fireworks show. Old people are funny. The blast mask is basically just a bomb but on your face. The best place for a bomb to be. Now instead of your sword, it just says, EXPLODE! You know what, I think there should be an EXPLODE button in every game. And if you use your shield, somehow it saves you from being damaged. Even though the shield is, and the mask is inside the... You know what, it's a game, let's just forget it. Now I know what you must be thinking. Peanut Butter Gamer, how exactly does the blast mask work? What causes it to explode without Link touching it or anything? Good question. According to a gossip stone that I couldn't find anywhere except on the internet, the answer is, it's full of gunpowder. And that explains everything. <laughs> The giant's mask turns you, naturally, into a giant. And that's pretty cool. What's not cool is that you can only use it during the twin mold boss fight, leaving me very little to say about it. But you can, however, glitch the game into letting you use the mask outside the twin mold boss fight. Either run through a large portion of the couple's mask quest line, or if you're fond of cheating like I am, you can just glitch through the door of Sakan's hideout on the final night. Put on any mask that isn't a transformation mask and step on the switch to start the conveyor belt. Then, once you switch to Kaifei, pause the game and put the giant's mask in the same slot as the mask you currently have equipped. Then when you switch back to Link, he'll start putting on the giant's mask. The only problem is that it causes a problem. Aw, oh, yeah, I'm a giant. Look how awesome I'm not. You're stuck. Enjoy. I mentioned earlier in the list that I love the Romani mask because of its awesome and kind of creepy side quest. Well, while it might not be quite as long, the side quest for Kamaro's mask definitely matches it in the creepiness factor, if not far surpassing it. Right outside of North Clocktown, you can find some rock mushroom looking thingies in the snow. Right at midnight on the rock mushroom looking thingy that has some more rocks on top of it, a weird dancing ghost man will appear. If you play the song of healing for him, he'll give you his mask, the Kamaro mask. It's by far the most disturbing looking mask in the game. It's basically just Kamaro's face sewn onto your forehead. But what makes this mask really cool isn't Kamaro's sexy face, it's the dancing! If you hold the A button, it allows you to perform Kamaro's dance to the T. Also, it helps you pick up chicks. Up next at what should probably be number one but isn't, the bunny hood. The bunny hood is arguably the most useful mask in the game. It makes you run faster. And that's just nice. Heck, even while I was recording footage for the other masks, I was using the bunny hood. There are very few situations where the bunny hood isn't useful. Running in circles around Romani? Useful. Running in circles around this kid? Useful. Running in circles around the old guy at the observatory? A little less useful, actually. Oh yeah, and it's also great for travel and boss fights. And everything else. Okay, just let me level with you guys here for a second. I already did a segment on the bunny hood and the top five Zelda items. I really just don't think I can top that one. So I'm not gonna. Next! Okay, I know on my top five Zelda items video last year, I included the bunny hood and it was the only mask on the list. So naturally it should top this list as well, but I just don't care. The stone mask. As an item, the bunny hood is better, or at the very least better in more situations, but as a mask, the stone mask, it's just funny. I like it. It's also really useful in a lot of spots throughout the game because it makes you invisible to enemies. I'll demonstrate here with Got. Or is it Goat? You guys seem to think it's Goat. But calling a Goat, Goat just seems a little silly to me, and I hate silly. So Got it is. You can't see me, Got. Just give it up already. Uh... Uh... <laughs> okay, some enemies can still see you, like bosses, mini bosses, and even weird exceptions like Deku Bombas for some reason. But it does work on most enemies, like this annoying bird guy. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! But my favorite thing about the stone mask, like I mentioned earlier, is it's just funny to me. And that is my scientific reason. I'm serious. I did actual science. The stone mask is the funniest mask. Proven. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my top 10 masks in Majora's Mask video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, then why don't you click the little Master Sword here and subscribe. I've got a lot more Zelda content coming this month, as well as content that is not Zelda content that later 
just still be your mind will like be blown with with the content that is just subscribe. And I also highly suggest that you click here to go watch the video I did with Matt Pat from Game Theory. It's also about Majora's Mask. It's a creepy Majora's Mask theory. It will blow your mind. So go check it out. But anyway, I'm Peanut Butter Gamer and I will see you next time.